Today we're going to learn how to import any one of these CV resume templates inside of Elementor and start editing it. Let's get started. To get started with our new CV resume template, first of all, you're going to want to install Unlimited Elements. It's a free plugin for WordPress that works with Elementor Page Builder. Inside of the plugin, once you activate it, you will see a part for widgets and a part for templates. Today, we're going to talk about the templates part. So I'm going to click Templates. And over here, it's separated into separate categories. Today I'm introducing a new category that's called CV Resume and it's built of many, many types of CV Resume templates. Now you can use these templates as a standalone landing page or even as a home page or inner page in your existing website. Check out how awesome these are and they're 100% configurable. Now. As you can see, five of these are totally free. Anyone can download and use them. And there are a couple of ones that are pro, which require the pro version. You can get the pro version from our website. I'm going to demonstrate a free one and show you how easy and fast it is to install it. You can browse the different designs by clicking on them. And then you can scroll down to see the full page and what parts it's built of. You can continue browsing by clicking the next button over here to browse different designs inside of the category, or you can close that and go back like this. I'm going to choose this one because I really like it and I think it's suitable for me. And if I want to create a page from this template inside of my website down here, I can give that page a name. So I'm going to call it CV and I'm going to click create page button. All of our web designs are using free and commercial free graphics. So any images over here you can use for commercial use. Of course, you're going to want to probably change some of these images, but just so you know, you don't need to worry about using them. Also, the widgets that we include inside are unlimited elements widgets with the combination with Elementor widgets. So it's really cool. You're also getting a full web design and you're also getting some awesome widgets for free. Once the import is successful, you can click edit with Elementor. And I'm just going to demonstrate editing some of these and showing you how easy and fast it is. So first of all, to get rid of our header from our theme, I'm going to click the settings button over here. And in page layout, I'm going to change this into Elementor Canvas. Of course, you don't have to do this. If you already have a logo and menu that you want to use, you can keep them. But if you don't want them and you want to show this as a standalone landing page, then Elementor Canvas is a great solution to doing that fast. Now, over here, you can change anything you want. For example, my name is Amit Karen. And let's scroll down, click on the image. Let's upload a new image. For example, my image. And I'm going to click Insert Media. See how fast and easy editing this is. Now, these cool icon boxes are part of Unlimited Elements. So you can use all the features of Unlimited Elements. If you want, you can change the icon. You can change the text. You can change the color. For example, if you want a different color scheme, you can go over each element and change the style. Down here, this is another widget by Unlimited Elements, which is called Icon Timeline, which is a really cool layout for CVs and resumes. So we split this into education and experience, which we have in most of our templates, our CV templates. This is a small gallery. 
And at any time, if you don't like the certain effect, you can just delete that and switch it with a different widget. So that's what's nice about it. It's just some building blocks and you can even delete a full section if you don't want it. Over here we have some client testimonials. You edit that in items and as you can see you have many of them over here. Each one if you will click on them you just put in the title, the company, an image and some text. Down here we have a map and of course you can also if you have Elementor Pro you can add a contact form over here maybe or anything you like. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and I'm waiting for your feedback and we'll see you next time.